Hey guys, I'd like to share what's new in Pack Manager version you see on the screen. We made the redesign, now it looks more modern and clean. We removed hundreds of buttons from the bottom row and we removed empty space in the tab, so now it's more compact. It's still ongoing, so you'll see my changes over the next couple months. All the settings moved here. If you need more tools, you can find them here. The logo moved here. If you need access to some debugging tools, you can right click and still access those. Next, if you go to main menu, you've added the search and we've also added the global search right here. You can search by package names, search across all packages by item, name and so on. Personally I mostly use the first two, but you might need in some cases the other one. We've added the download manager. You can find all your downloads right here. And you can download an entire package if you need it, instead of downloading emissions one by one. We kept the most important and most used buttons separate, but we moved all less used features and actions. If you remember, you could barely it's those on the screen. For example, filters are redesigned and we made icons look more clear and easy to understand. You have access to all folders if you need them. What we are working on next is minimized version and we will move all favorites into a separate tab right here and it will be shared across all packages. Hopefully it would be much easier to navigate. Besides that, we made thousands of changes in our packages and how the pack manager imports projects in After Effects and in Premiere Pro. For example, we've added import as image option. If you needed to preview of the item would look like in your scene without waiting entire video because some of the videos might be long to download. In Premiere Pro, in most transitions now we work in one click. So you can just drag and drop and apply the transition to your scene. And we've reduced a lot of steps that would require you to do some manual work. We try to streamline all of our packages to just drag and drop and move on. Just a few other examples. I will not show it, you can find it on a YouTube channel. But our transitions now snap to the cut on your video. It automatically detects it and if the transitions need to be with blending mode, the blending mode would be applied automatically. So this is just to remove those tiny tiny steps. And we remove more than hundreds of them, so the total sum of your save time would be much more. It will be much more easier to use. Hopefully you guys like it and let me know what you think in the comments. I will listen to your feedback and the next time. Thanks for watching.